Okay, now in this lesson, we are going to look at a very new feature which is called Auto Animate in Adobe XD. Now, if I show you what it actually does is, let me show you. You can see this loading bar. It is transiting with Auto Animate and I'm going to show you in a few seconds how you can use that uh, by in your prototypes and you can build a lot of different things, okay? So let's get started. So what I have done here is it's very easy. Let's uh, create a new file, new iPhone 6, 7, 8. And uh, this is our artboard. Let's zoom in. Command and control zero to zoom to 100%. And I am going to create an ellipse and I'm going to hold shift for the proportion. And it is going to be 200 uh, of the size 200 by 200 so let's lock this aspect ratio 200 by 200 and now just center line it like that I'm going to change its uh, border color to something whatever you like okay so let's use this one okay so uh, actually we are going to use two ellipses so one is going to be act, uh, acting as a background so I'm going to use size 5 and let's make it a bit dull like this something over here okay so we have one and uh, the stroke should be outside so we are going to use the outer stroke rather than inner stroke and now we are going to command c and command v or control v to paste it on that same ellipse so now i am going to select the top ellipse you can see on the layers panel top ellipse and I'm going to change the color to something like this. Okay, so I'm going to add this color too. Now we have two ellipses. One is this one and this is background. This is top one. So let's change it to top. And let's change it to back. Now we are going to select the top one. And we are going to change its setting dash will be 0 and gap will be 700 okay so let's use it less than 700 like 600 or maybe 500 gap will be 20 and it will be 700 so something like that okay so use the dash to be 20 so dash is going to be 20 but the gap will be 700 so it is going to go outside of this shape now we are going to use this rounded cap like this select this rounded cap and if i try to increase the gap let's see okay so 10 if you want i think uh, 10 is too small 30 or 50 okay so this looks good okay so we have uh, completed our two um ellipses one is for the moving part and one is the static part which is background so um, this is the setting dash is 50 size is 5 and gap is 800 so gap is actually removing all the other parts of this line stroke okay so now let's go to the animating part before that i'm going to um, paste some text over here uh, like loading something like this and move it in the middle like that okay so Let's make its color a bit dull gray. Let's go to this bluish gray. Okay, so this looks great. Okay, so one artboard is done. Let's duplicate it, replicate this one. And we are going to use this top one, select the top one. And we are going to rotate it to 90 degree. Okay, something like that. Then replicate it again and we are going to repeat the same select this one 180 degree so actually we are going to rotate it four times okay so here we are going to rotate it to 270 degree and in the last one we are going to rotate it to 360 degree so it is going to go back to its first position so once let's zoom out and show you what we are doing so you can see the first state and the last state they are the same but we did it with the rotation and now we are going to move to prototype where we are going to link all these 
So selecting the first one, which is going to be the starting point and select this home and going to drag this to the second one. And now the trigger will be time. So rather than tap, so this is actually what is going to trigger the prototype animation. So is it going to be drag, time, voice? Uh, we will look at drag and voice later on. Let's uh, select this time right now. And I'm going to use a delay of, uh, let's say two seconds to start it. And the transition in this transition, I am going to select this auto animate. So this is the new feature. And in this easing, how it will auto animate, I am going to use this uh, snap. Okay, so let's use, okay, so for this time, I'm going to use go with snap and let's make it 0.4 seconds. Okay, again, I'm going to do the same using uh, creating a prototype and animating the next one. So let's zoom in so you can see what actually the settings are. So settings are the same. It actually maintains the last settings. So now I'm going to do the same again, snap 0.4 seconds, 0.2 second delay. And let's move it to the last one. And again, this is like this. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, link the last one to the first one. Now here we are going to change some of the settings uh, like delay will be 0.1 and we are not going to use any uh, auto animate, uh, not even the animation and uh, that is all. So now let's try to play it. So what I did is actually we are using the same time trigger. So after every 0.2 seconds or 20 milliseconds, it is going to transit to the next one with auto animate feature and the easing will be the effect of easing will be snap. Uh, even if you use bounce, let's use bounce. So you can get the idea of how it will look like. And what is the difference between these? So let's, I'm going to use the bounce animation. This is a new one actually. Let's play it. Now you can see it is bouncing and it is looking really great. So let's, let's use some other one. So I'm going to shift to, let's use this wind, wind up and I think it is just like uh, a clock, winding the clock. So let's see what is the difference between these two animations. You can see this is the difference. So this is wind up. This is not actually bouncing. It is not looking that great. So let's try snap. So if we go to the snap, let's change all of them to snap. Now let's play it. Okay, this, this is looking great. This is very smooth animation. So this, this is looking really great. So now you can see how I'm using this auto animate. There are a lot of things you can do with it. You can auto animate a lot of things. And uh, uh, let me show you one more example. I think you can also create something like that. So uh, let's create an artboard over here again same let's drag it oops so let's drag it down here holding by its name over here and i'm going to use this rectangle tool to create some loading bar and it is going to be very quick let's um use some very dull gray color, something like this. Let's remove the border and let's add some shadow over here like this. Let's zoom in to see how it is actually looking. Okay, so here we have this one. Let's replicate it, Command Control C, Command V. This is going to be the top one. So let's change the color of the top one to this blue. Okay, and select both of them change their rounded corners to let's say four, something like that. Let's center line them. Let's remove the shadow from the top one. Now we have two rectangles and uh, what we are going to do is first just replicate this one. Okay, so here we have the next one. And what we need to do over here is in the first one, we are going to reduce the width to something like 
this okay so even if you want to reduce it to five let's use five over here okay so here we have two bars and what we need to do is just go to prototype select this one auto animate time 0.1 seconds transition is going to be auto animate let's use snap right now and i'm going to use one second to show this transition so let's try it okay so it is using actually the bounce so let's remove the bounce we are going to use snap okay so there is let's use the time to bit a bit high let's use it four seconds because it's showing it very quickly so let's play it now okay so this is what i wanted actually again i think it is uh, having some effect over here let's use ease in out okay so this is the perfect thing i actually wanted this effect so i am using now ease in in out and uh, let's play it again So this is how you can use auto animate and create this loading bars or any screens. You can uh, move items from one screen to another, change the location. Make sure you keep the names of them similar. So let's move to this layers panel. Okay, so if I go to this one, you can see the names of them is same. So loading is going to be loading over here and again over here. Rectangle 1 is going to be Rectangle 1 on all the artboards which are animating. So uh, just to make sure that the Adobe XD engine, it knows that this is the element that is going to animate. So, uh, so the naming of all the layers must be same on all the artboards to get this auto animate effect. I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, and um, I will keep on making few more videos on Vice and other other another one which is drag right now another trigger uh, till then we are going to meet again let's move on to the next video